we're going to talk about a word that is one of the most common words in the English language, and yet is one of the most common words that is mispronounced by a lot of people who are learning English as a second language. I'm going to clear that up today. It's this word right here. I know you recognize it, T-H-E, but most people mispronounce it. So let's talk about the two correct pronunciations of this word. On the left-hand side of our board, we have these examples. The man, the house, the black ant, the strong arm, the university, the United States, the U.S., and the one. So what do we notice about the pronunciation here of this word, T-H-E? It's pronounced the at times. The reason it's pronounced the is that the first letter and the first sound of each of these words is a consonant sound. And that's what you have to look for. So if the word you're going to say, the noun that you're going to say, starts with a consonant sound, like man, house, but also university. Now you might be saying, hey, but that's a vowel. U is a vowel. And O is a vowel, right? But that's why we're looking for consonant sounds. University starts with a consonant sound, just like the word U, which is spelled Y-O-U. So it's a Y sound. The word one starts with a, a W sound, and that's what you have to look for. So if the word starts with a consonant sound, then the rule is you pronounce T-H-E, the. So how do you remember how to pronounce it correctly? That's the hard part. Well, you want to pronounce it like the short U, which is a uh, in English. And a common word that has that sound is up. So just make sure that when you say the word the, that it rhymes with the word up the and up. So let's review these words again. The man, the house, the black ant. And you can repeat with me at your home. The strong arm, the university, the United States, the US, and the one. Now let's take a look at these the words on the other side of the board. On this side, I'm going to read them off and let's see if you notice the difference in the pronunciation of the word T-H-E. The elephant, the owl, the extra cup, the anthill, the hour, the herb, the honest man, the honorable man. Okay, so here we see that the word is not pronounced the same on the, as on this on the other side of the board. Here we pronounce T-H-E, the. So what is the rule? Well, as you may have guessed, and as you can read right here in red, it says that the first sound that all of these words have in common, and remember it's the first sound, not the letter, is that it's a vowel sound. So here we have the E in elephant. Now you see all of these vowels, those are obvious. But here, these words all start with a consonant, the letter H. But these are among the few words in English that have a silent H sound. Most H's in English are pronounced, but in these words, you don't pronounce the H. So it's just our, and as you can hear in our, it's a vowel sound. That's the first sound. So that's why we say the hour, the herb, the honest man, and the honorable man. Now, how are you going to remember the pronunciation of this word? Just remember that it's the long E vowel sound. And that's how we write it, E with a line on the top. And it rhymes with me and C. So let's review these words again. We have the man, the house, the black ant, the strong arm, the university, the United States, the US, and the one. And on the other side, we have the elephant, the owl, the extra cup, the anthill, the hour, the herb, the honest man, and the honorable man. Now, I know that this is going to help you to pronounce the word T-H-E much better. Just remember, it's either the or the. Good luck and keep practicing your English. And just remember that language man is always here to help you.